Oh hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lauren. I post one video a week. Anyway, the face mask that I am using is the Pixie Beauty Glow Mud Mask or something like that. My boyfriend's mom gave it to me. It is phenomenal. I use it all the time. It's really affordable. I really like Pixie Beauty. If you're looking for it in Canada, I know they have it in um, Shoppers Drug Mart and in Walmart. They don't have everything, but they have a decent amount. So if you're looking for the mask or any of their products, really just go to Shoppers or Walmart. I think that's it. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next in this vlog, but stay tuned. This mask, though. I love mud masks. They just, like, yank everything out of your face, and it is amazing. Just, like... Yank everything out, please. All these little breakouts I have on my chin. Just get rid of them. Thumbnail. Um, I don't know, in case you guys are curious or wondering, these are my go-to beauty products right now. So I'm using the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, but I'm almost out. So if you have any um, recommendations for another cleanser, let me know. Something that's like this. I really, really liked this, but I'm ready to try something new. Next thing is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Again, this is really hard to get my hands on, so another glycolic acid uh, product would be great. I'm also using the Pixie Beauty um, Glow Peel Pads. I really like these. These are really strong. Again, I cannot find these anywhere, so I'm going to need another product once these are out. Holy Grail product of mine is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's. Again, like... I have, I am running out of this, but this has lasted me over a year and I use this every single night and I use a lot of it on my skin and it's the only, um, like it's honestly the only product that I notice does something the very next day in terms of like clearing up my acne, you know, helping with drying flakes, things like that. I really, really, really love this and if there's one product that I ever recommend to you guys, it's this. I really need to clean. Sorry, guys. The Lapis Oil by Herbivore. Oh, are you going to focus? There you go. This is really great if you have acne. Um, it really helps with um, just kind of taming it. And if there's any inflammation, it helps with that. I really love this. It's a really thick and heavy oil. I only use it at night. You can use it during the day, but I just use it at night. Um, I'm pretty much done with this. It's got like one more use in it. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. This is what I use to take my makeup off. This is freaking phenomenal. If you are a double cleanser and you oil cleanse first, I highly recommend this. I get it at Walmart. It's literally like under $10. It's amazing. I love it. It's got rosehip, jojoba oil, and a grapeseed oil, vitamin C, all of the good things. So if you have dry skin and you double cleanse, this is a must. I'm going to jump in the shower now and I'm going to get ready. And I think the next time I'll speak to you guys is when I'm fully done up and doing Q&A. Okay, I'll talk to you then. Bye. Okay, and we're back in a slightly different setting. Don't mind the green wall. I'm going to answer that question in this mini Q&A. Um, and if you hear background noise, there's a baby trying to be put down for a nap right now, and he's kind of cranky, so you might hear some weird background noise. Anyway, posted on my Instagram, um, which if you don't follow me, it's at Lorscal, and I'll put it somewhere on the screen. And I asked you guys... Um, to ask me questions. So I'm gonna read through some of them actually. My friend Shannon asked me actually quite a few questions, um, which is great. So she asked me to tell us about being a YouTuber. So in terms of like being a YouTuber, I wouldn't really call myself a YouTuber right now. Um, I just do YouTube because one, I'm kind of a nerd and I love the editing process of, of editing the videos and being able to go back and watch my videos and be like, oh yeah, like I remember that product I talked about or or like, oh, it's so nice that I get to like look back and at some of the memories that I did through vlogs. So, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a YouTuber. It's just a hobby to me, almost like scrapbooking. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoy it. I actually used to do YouTube a really long time ago, way back in like high school and like first year university but all of those video videos were deleted because actually that's a good story time video i will do a story time video explaining that but I like have been doing youtube for a long time but this is the first time that i've actually stuck to it and um really i'm excited about co making content so yeah that's basically being a youtuber is just a lot of editing a lot of um coming up with ideas, you know, like there's a lot of pre-production, like how do I want my video to look if I'm going to film in a certain way, which is the hardest part for me. 
um, making, learning, keeping as up to date as possible on editing tools and how YouTube works and the rules with YouTube and copywriting and things like that. So it is, there is a lot of behind the scenes that goes into it. You can't just like make a video and post it. I mean, you can, but there are certain things that you kind of have to follow. So yeah, that, I don't know. Being a YouTuber, it's, uh, for me, it's just a hobby. I'm not sure what it's like for people who are actual like career YouTubers, but yeah, that's um, somebody asked me. Where did you go to school and what did you take? By the way, love your articles. Uh huh. Thanks, girl. And don't mind the lighting. I'm trying to use natural lighting, but it's going in and out. Anyway, I used to write for this online platform called Read Unwritten. It's an un unreal platform and it's where I got my first work published. So I will leave a link down below for you guys to um, uh, read some of the things if you're interested. But as in terms of going to school, what I went to school for, I, w I went to Wilfrid Laurier, which is a university in Ontario, um, and I actually went there for psychology, and then my first semester I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do anything with psychology. Um, and then I decided I wanted to take the communications program, which is really, really big at Laurier. It's like one of their biggest programs. So I switched into that, and I did communications, and I graduated with a BA in communications, and I loved it. It was amazing. I learned so much there. It was the best four years of my life. It was the hardest, but it was the best. And I also minored in English because I decided to do um, a post-grad and I did a post-grad at Centennial College, which is a college in, college in Toronto. And I did it in public relations. And I think that that program, oh, I'm like losing my voice. <clears throat> I'm like nervous or something. Um, <laughs> I really, really thought that the program was well done. It is insanely, insanely, insanely hard. I kind of went into it with a really bad mentality thinking that, oh, I did university, like there's nothing harder than university. College is freaking hard. I don't know how people do it. Like it actually killed my soul. Like it was so hard. So yeah, I did public relations. I did an internship um, that was required and I found out that I hate public relations. So um, maybe it was just my experience. If you guys want me to talk about my experience doing an internship in public relations, I kind of want to and I'm, I get a lot of questions about it when I go out. Um, I'm not going to tell you where I interned because I'm sure that had a big part of my experience. I'm sure if you really want to know, you can probably find out where I interned if you lurk hard enough. But I really don't think I'll ever go into the public relations sector. I, I think I'll stick to communications and marketing and social media, which is like what I do now as my full-time job um, for the place I work at. I don't really want to say. But yeah, that's what I went to school for. And it was amazing. So if you have any questions about that regarding any of those programs, let me know and I will... DM me, whatever, I'll answer any questions yeah, you have. I have a lot of relationship questions too. How long have you and your boyfriend been dating? Um, so Blair and I have been dating. It'll be four years October 15th, which is insane. I can't believe it's been four years. Um, we, if you guys want to start on how we met, it's pretty simple. Like we just live in the same city. So we just met through, you know, friends. Um, and yeah, it's been amazing. He's like my first um, real boyfriend, if you will. And we're very happy and he's my best friend. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have like a few here. I didn't know if I was going to like comment on this or not, but I obviously have a few people who follow me on Instagram who have found me through my friend Chelsea and they're asking me like, oh, are you and Chelsea friends? Blah, blah, blah. Yes. So I don't know if like, if you're not, don't know who I'm talking about. Her name's Chelsea Trevor. She's a YouTuber here on the internet. Um, and she does a fabulous job. She does, she's way better at it than I am. And she's been doing it probably way longer than I have as well. But yeah, yes, we are friends. We met through mutual friends. We're from the same area. We go out with, you know, to the same bars and stuff. So yes, we are friends. We know each other. It's not like random or anything. Because I had a few people message me being like, how do you know Chelsea? Like, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, like some of her followers. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we're friends. We know each other. <laughs> this is a hilarious question and this has a great story attached to it. Um, I knew that I had a few people that followed me on Instagram that think that I am related to Shawn Mendes, which is hilarious. Um, I am not. I am not related to Shawn Mendes. He is from my hometown. He did. He's the same age as my brother and they have the same exact name. They're both Shawns. And they went to high school together, so they had the same classes together. They hung out with, hung out with the same people. Um, when he became, like, Vine famous, like, it was just really interesting because, you know, my brother would come home and be like, it's just crazy. Like, we're, we're in class and Sean's, like, Vine famous. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, I know I've met him. Like, he's a really nice guy. He, like, it's crazy. Like, I run into him sometimes when, I, when he's home, I guess. My mom has run into him quite a bit because my mom works at the local grocery store. So, she sees him when he's home quite a bit. But, yes... Um, I know him, but we are not related, 
even though our brothers have the same or my brother has the same name as him and we are both Portuguese and it's people think we're related but we're not so yeah oh my god some of my friends are like asking me Harry Potter questions because they know that I love Harry Potter who is your favorite Harry Potter character Ooh, one I think either either Tonks or Luna I used to be really obsessed with Luna like to the point that I wanted to name my firstborn daughter Luna but then Christy Teigen named her daughter Luna and I feel like people will think I'm copying her so that's been x made but I yeah I'm a massive Harry Potter fan in case you didn't know I I'm trying my hardest to not indulge myself in going to see the new movie about a hundred times because going to the movies is expensive how do you deal with people talking badly about you in terms of this person I know what they're talking about so when I first decided I wanted to try out this whole YouTube slash Instagram, because it really is, it's like the same world, you know, you, I, I really love posting on my Instagram that, that's like personal to me in terms of like posting with my parents or posting with my boyfriend. Like I don't really use my Instagram like a lot of like YouTubers do in terms of keeping it really like aesthetic and really like blogger-esque. Um, I would like to, I wish I was that girl that could do that, but I, I just can't. So I just post, you know when I want to and, and the things that I like um but yeah it was really hard for me at first because I did not have thick skin and if I heard that somebody was making fun of me or um just talking badly like oh did you see like her video about this like she sounded dumb or this and it has happened I have heard that people have said that about me I I don't know like I at first it really got to me and that's why I deleted a lot of my videos because I was so upset. I was like, oh my god, all these people think that I'm so stupid for doing this. And then um, I realized that I wasn't doing it for any of those people. I was doing it for myself and I was doing it because I loved it and because I genuinely wanted to have a conversation with other people about things that I'm liking or um, memories that I'm having. I, want, I wanted to share that with other people. So it was really hard at first. Um, now I don't really care. I don't know like I know that it's happened I actually caught a girl once at the bar I guess she didn't realize that I was in the bathroom and she <laughs> made fun of me for doing YouTube but other than that I really don't care and I just think that if you're my friend and um, you see me pursuing something that I love then you should be supportive of it and you shouldn't speak badly about it so or even just put it down or ignore it like I, I have that a lot of people like ignore that I do it because they're I don't know if they're like embarrassed or um what that's about but yeah I just do it because I think it's fun and it's a hobby for me and I love the technical side of it and I think it's so cool to be able to look back at my videos and I don't know I just gotta brush it off it's hard if you don't have thick skin it's really really hard so if you want to try YouTube or try your hand at all these things you know you have to really grow some thick skin and just not let what other people think bother you. Okay, I think I'm gonna answer one more question and it is the question that everybody asks me about and it's, why is your wall green? <laughs> um, so, as you can see, my bedroom wall is green and blue. I also have blue walls. And that is because when I moved away to university when I was 18 years old, um, my brother said to me, hey, can I take over your bedroom because my bedroom was slightly bigger than this bedroom um okay can I take over your bedroom um I want a bigger room I want to make it my own like all that stuff and I was like you know what like you're like now he's stuck being alone here so I I said to him yeah like go for it he was 14 at the time I was like yeah you can have my old room um so all of my stuff got moved into this room originally this room I don't think this room was this color was it yeah no this room was always this color so when my brother and I um, got to pick our room colors I picked purple and he picked green and blue so that's why my room is green because I technically now live in my brother's old room <laughs> and we just haven't gotten around to painting it honestly like life is just so hectic and it takes a, like a whole weekend basically to paint this room so it just hasn't been done and there's still like holes and stuff on the walls from where my brother hung stuff up that we have to fix and it's just like really hectic and that means if we spend a weekend painting my room I really can't be here so yeah my room is green because this used to be my brother's old room and he liked the color green <laughs> so yeah I'm going to change it um as for painting it I don't know when that's gonna happen but I'm going to put something here so that the background isn't as green <laughs> 
and it won't be as distracting because this is like I feel like I'm in like a green screen room you know what I mean I don't know it's hilarious that's all the questions I'm gonna answer thank you so much for all the people who asked me questions silly and serious I appreciate it and I know that you guys are really looking for a fall haul and I will be doing a fall haul soon don't worry and I think that's everything let me know if you like the style of video I like this but I prefer the vlog style but I like this too so just let me know and if you want a makeup look on this look it's like my going out look let me know and I also styled my hair a little differently today I used a bigger curling wand I don't know what do you guys think I feel like it doesn't look as you know like judged let me know okay I will speak to you soon bye